welcome to another episode of Proven Power Cycles. If you don't know me, my name is Eric Lee. I am the uh, owner here. I'm also the Dyno Tuner. Uh, we got Lewis and Cam also helping us out. So today we have a 2015 uh, Suzuki Hayabusa with uh, currently uh, slip-on systems on. I think they're just, uh, as told by the owner, they're basically just uh, eBay slip-ons, which I'm sure we could kind of tell here just by the looks. Uh, but that's what we're changing today, or part of what we're going to be changing today. So actually, we're going to be removing these slip-ons and installing a full exhaust system, the uh, Brox Pentacarbon. We have a chain and sprocket kit that's also going to be going on the bike. It's a Vortex kit and a DID uh, chain, a really good chain. Uh, we have a Sprint PO8 air filter that's going to be going on the bike. And uh, just some other general maintenance. You know, we're going to be uh, flushing the brake system and uh, cleaning out. We got new oil that's going to be going in the bike. Just again, just going over the maintenance like you should be doing. This owner is taking care of the bike like you should be doing. I cannot stress it enough how many people come into this shop and uh, they want all the power in the world. They want to make all this power, but they don't want to do any maintenance. So, uh, guys, if you're out there and you are watching this episode, maintenance, 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 maintenance. I can't stress it enough. Do your maintenance. The bike will make the power as long as you're doing the maintenance. Imagine you as an athlete, you know, you're eating nothing but candy and sugar and you're running all the time and you're not actually putting good stuff into your body. Eventually you're going to get burnt out and you're going to perform like crap. That's what happens when you don't perform maintenance. Okay. That's what maintenance does. It helps you perform at your peak just like your bike it helps it perform at its peak all right uh here let's take a look at this muffler and everything uh the owner got it black ceramic coated which it's a very very nice ceramic coat here we are lewis is displaying it so pretty <laughs> we got the stupid fast logo that looks good it's a nice nice clean finish it actually looks gray in here it's kind of crazy looking has the carbon tip. The carbon tip's really well. Nice, nice rivets, black rivets. We love the black rivets. Very clean, so. You don't want the chrome sticking out and making it look weird. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no chrome tip. Nice, clean, clean, clean. And we have a nice opening here. Yeah, good opening, <laughs> good size, good diameter. This thing should make some good power today. So what we're gonna do, just like every other video, guys, we are going to baseline it as it sits, the way it came in. Uh, we're gonna do a, a, a once over on the bike make sure everything looks good and clean and ready to run uh, We're gonna check the oil check the tires things like that or obviously the chain looks pretty tension. It looks good Yep chains nice. We're good. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go over the safety checks and uh, we're gonna get the bike back warmed up and then we will actually do the baselines as far as how it came in so, and then once we, uh, once we get all the parts installed, once we get everything knocked out, we're gonna put it back on the dyno, we're gonna re-baseline this bike, and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and do the full tune, so that way you can see all the stages of, uh, if you guys were to do this to your bike, this is what uh, kind of power you'd be making. Let's get started. So we figured we'd go ahead and give you a little update on the Busa here. Uh, we have been chipping away at it. We got the full exhaust off. The guys have been going at it. Uh, we have the plugs out. The new plugs are going in. Uh, the new chain and sprocket is going on. Things are busy here. Uh, we're getting it moving. Lewis is, I can see a shit ton of uh, mineral spirits over there. So he's cleaning. <laughs> he's cleaning profusely so which is a good thing you know like I said we usually like to clean everything uh, while we're doing our jobs so we got the uh, stock header I should say we got that stock system off we got the oil done the oil has changed look at this Lewis cleaned the flip out of this look how clean this is yeah not fully fully done yet but still this is beautiful compared to what it looked like look at that <laughs> Yeah, we That's got we got rags. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, we got tons of rags, full filthy rags. Yeah, we got fluid all in there. We got a bunch of grease in there. Yeah, this thing's gonna come out clean. So uh, this bike is super super clean. But Cam's putting the new plugs in. We have, uh, like I said, we have the chain and sprocket going on. He just got another 530 kit. Yeah. So what he did, he just opted to do a uh, two up in the rear and then an OEM 
replacement for the front so it should give them a slight little kick along pair that with the full exhaust and the tune and uh, this bike should be a pretty fun little street bike I'm not gonna lie at stock wheelbase this thing should scoot pretty good for uh, you know really for your average rider you know any rider really um, this would be a pretty fun street bike but really pretty bike the guy the guy definitely got a hell of a deal he's um, I want to say oh yeah he's from Minnesota so he definitely took a long trip down here from Minnesota. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the bike. And uh, we're going to keep plugging away here and uh, making progress. All right, guys. So it is back on the dyno. This thing is finally ready to go. We have the chain and sprocket all installed here. Now he went up two teeth in the rear and uh, left the front uh, stock. And uh, we got the pentacarbon all on here now too, and it came out beautiful. Now, those of you guys who've installed Brock's before, you know that if you even look at this exhaust the wrong way, it'll scratch. So this thing got installed pretty mint with very, very, very little nicks in it at all, if any. So it came out great though. Very happy with this install. Lewis did a great job. Stupid fat. Carbon tip, carbon tip does look good. I will give it to them. That is a nice touch. That thing looks beautiful. Nice outlet, very good opening. This thing should do really well on the dyno today. I don't really need to talk about Brock's exhaust. Most of you guys know, they're pretty much known to go on the boosts and the 14s. So uh, we also installed a Sprint POA air filter. So he's got the Sprint filter, the full exhaust system, and uh, aftermarket chain and sprocket kit. So we're getting ready to baseline the bike with the full Brock system, the new chain and sprocket, and the Sprint POA air filter, uh, and a fresh oil change. So uh, you'll get to see that. We also did a fresh set of plugs too, and cool and flush. Like I said, we kind of went through the bike and uh, just re-upped everything, did all the new maintenance for him. So uh, he should be good to go for quite some time after this. So. Uh, but anyway, let's warm up the bike. Let's rebaseline it so we can keep it going. got the Busa all wrapped up and uh, we're gonna go over the numbers now uh, what a pretty drastic change and this is what we typically see with a lot of the Busas a lot of the 14s 14 R's uh, usually the bigger bikes we usually see pretty big jumps once we do uh, these changes uh, that we've done here today so uh, we're, we're gonna go over the final numbers here and uh, start overlaying the graphs and everything and uh, get you guys an insight as far as the transformation on this bike this is how the bike came in now again this had the stock header with the cat still in it and the slip-on style exhaust which uh, the customer informed us that he thinks they're they're just eBay slip-ons he had it with the previous owner so obviously he's like they gotta go so we ended at 172 wheel horsepower and 105 foot-pounds of torque uh, pretty rich actually mixture here especially in the mid-range it really dips 11.5 11.5 that's really 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 rich so and then we hit a, a nice air fuel here it goes a little lean nothing too crazy and it gets back on track and then again at top end just goes pig rich again back in the 12s and 11s up top at the high rpm there so what we ended up doing after that we did the install we obviously installed the uh, air filter and the uh, exhaust and let's pull that one up all right it is our blue line here so with the full exhaust installed, you could see the air fuel cleaned up a bunch. It actually got pretty close and then again, dipped down a little rich here at top end. Uh, but the air fuel got cleaned up a bunch. And look at this mid-range. We picked up a ton of power in the mid-range and we picked up up top. Now that the system's able to breathe a lot better with this system, with the full Brox, we picked up, a, now this is peak versus peak, and this is a four wheel horsepower gain with about two foot pounds of torque. But again, look at this high RPM. We're at 164 to 171. So we actually picked up about seven wheel horsepower up top here uh, and not this four wheel. This is kind of deceiving. 
because again, you need to analyze the entire curve, not just your peak versus peak, which is kind of, we're comparing numbers right around in here at uh, 95, 9600 RPM. So, and then look at this mid range, we'll pick 5250 here or close to it. So 5250, we picked up a solid five wheel torque and uh, five wheel uh, horsepower. So, so yeah, right around, right around in here, right around in here is the cross. Yeah. So anyway, we picked up very, very good gains here. So uh, very good gains. And then uh, again, here is the, here's the final curve here. This is us tweaking it, just trying to remap everything. We pulled everything we could out of the uh, out of the bike, and uh, this is what we ended up with was 188 wheel horsepower and uh, and 112 foot pounds of torque. So substantial gains. Uh, so we'll take basically how the bike came in versus the final, and this is how the bike was leaving. We'll pick uh, 10,000 RPM here. We came in, he came in at 171 and he's leaving with 187. So a 16 wheel horsepower gain. That's pretty massive for a Busa, honestly. Um, 164 to 187. Again, we're dealing with, what is that? 23, 23 wheel horsepower gains. That's huge for a Busa. Big, big, big gains. Uh, and 11 foot pounds of torque. These are massive gains for the Busa. Uh, for anybody out there watching this, if you guys have a stock header, Highly recommend you go to a four to one exhaust system with a full tune. You will pick up big, big power. So uh, it is definitely worth the investment. Again, 110 to 121, picked up 11 wheel here and, uh, and 10 foot pounds of torque there. Very solid gains in here. We'll pull up the air fuel again, just so we can see it nice and smooth still. And uh, again, we played with a lot more than, uh, than just air fuel. There's definitely more to it than just kind of correcting your fuel mapping. But, uh, but anyway, guys, we, uh, we wanted to show you this before and after. Huge gains, very, very happy with the results. The customer is thrilled. He's actually coming back in to upgrade to a quick shifter on the bike and also aftermarket rear sets. He is a bigger guy. He wants to be a little bit more comfortable on the bike. And uh, we were talking to him and he also hates the OEM rear sets. They're silver. The whole bike obviously is black and the one bright silver part on it are the rear sets and they're kind of bulky. So we're gonna swap those out. We're going with a Vortex rear set. Um, it should look really really good and uh then like like we said we're gonna go to a heel tech quick shifter get that all dialed in as well and uh send him on his way with a new set of rear sets and a quick shifter so and we'll we'll do a video on that one as well anyway guys thank you for watching the video thank you for being a part of this if you could please leave us a like and uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already leave a comment tell us what you think about the busa I'm sure some of you guys watching this have Boosas. Tell us about your Boosa. Let us know what you guys have done to it and uh, tell us what you'd like to do for future mods. Um, maybe we can get a topic of discussion here. We could talk about this on the channel here in the future. So anyway, thank you again for all your support. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, be safe out there. We'll see you on another episode.